guys. We're gonna make the kids breakfast and just get on with my day and just show you how we do things here in Japan. But first, we need coffee. <laughs> Cause y'all know we love our coffee. So I'm gonna do, so we have, there's a lot of coffee options here. They're all bottled and they have some that are hot, but we love these lattes in a bottle. Y'all, these things only cost about 100, this was 140 yen. Uh, that's about, I don't know, I wanna say like 60 cent for this big bottle of latte. This will be about $5 at home and I can make two of them out of it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try this and see how it tastes. Hi. Why am I making a video? Yeah, I'm gonna drink coffee so I can make you guys some pancakes. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Say hi. <laughs> Little Hollis is starting to talk now. He came in and sounded like he said, What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to after him. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm about to give me some coffee. All right, see y'all later. So I like my coffee hot. And there's not really a, there's a pan to warm it up, but not like a coffee pan or anything. So I just put it in the microwave. I know we're against microwaves, but this is what works right now because I need my coffee before I do anything. So here's right here. Okay, so while that heats up, I'm gonna go and get the kids started. Let me just put away these dishes really quick. We don't have a dishwasher, so we wash dishes every night, which I do like. It's very relaxing. Forget how relaxing washing dishes could be. Dave's mom used to always ask us, why are you putting stuff in the dishwasher? You need to wash it by hand. I'm like, I don't wash this stuff by hand. I'm gonna put it in the dishwasher. But now I understand what she means. It is very relaxing and very soothing to wash dishes. So I'm gonna go and put these dishes up. very interesting how they do things here so they keep their glasses and ceramics down in this part of the drawer instead of up high and which makes sense um a lot of people here in japan are a little shorter so they don't want to leave their glasses up high where they can drop them so it makes sense to keep them down low all right so coffee is ready So this will be my first time trying this coffee. Sorry y'all, sorry for the screaming baby in the background. I feel like ever since we've been to Japan, he's been screaming so much. And I haven't wanted been making videos because of this, but this is real life, this is having kids. Apologize for the screaming. So we have the coffee here, it's a latte. It's just a black coffee with latte. I just want to see how it tastes, because all the other ones we've had have been super good. So I want to just kind of get an idea of how this one tastes. So. Mm. That one's good, it's so sweet. This one's really sweet compared to the other one that I have been drinking that we love so much. But it's still good, and it'll do. And this coffee's super strong. I tell you, when I drink this coffee all day, I just feel it through my body, so. All right, I had to take a break, the baby was screaming. Okay, so the fun thing about their eggs is their eggs are, um, you should get them when they're out of the refrigerator. So the first one I got them, I was like, oh no, these are warm. But you just take them and you put them in your refrigerator when you get home. I think they're just so fresh that they just keep them out for a little bit. But once you buy them, they go into your refrigerator. <laughs> So one thing I can say about here in Japan is you gotta be careful when you come here and not to eat all the yummy sweet stuff here. <laughs> I'm actually going on a fasting, um, 
fasting, not diet, but I'm going to fast for a little bit, like where I will stop eating at seven or eight and then start eating again the next day at 12 because I swear I've been eating so much bread, so many sweets, drinking so much beer because they have so many beers. Like you can get a beer from the convenience store and it's only about 40 cents. It's crazy. So right now I'm making pancakes for the kids and I'm just going to wait till my turn to eat at 12 and then yeah, we'll go from there. But while I'm doing this, um, things have been, like I said, things have been great here. Um, I, we're in a neighborhood where it's a bunch of, you know, elderly people and they have been the sweetest people. Like, it makes me want to like, just take care of elderly, elderly people, you know, especially if they don't have a family and stuff like that. It just makes me want to caretake for them. So that's the, probably one of the things I might end up doing when I go back to work. If Whenever I go back to work is either work with animals and elderly people or just work with <laughs> elderly people or just animals so we'll figure it out I, elderly people need us more than anything so i think i want to work with them but yeah it's been very cool very very cool that's right you like it here honey yeah now of course we can't stay here long term because there's a visa process but dave and i are working on um actually figuring something out because we just love it here so much just the peacefulness and being able to walk outside like i go outside at night with them sometimes and just walk around um, the only danger here will probably be the cars because some of the roads are really small and you, you know, if you're walking the side of the road, of course they can see and they're very careful with pedestrians here. Um, you just don't want to be careful, but yeah, we, we love it here. Let's take y'all around. Ava's looking at her show here. It's their little room back here. I like this room for them. It's like a little playroom. We have a room upstairs too. We are going to be starting homeschooling again soon. Ava did so wonderfully on her testing at the end of the year that um, we took a two week break. We went to Tokyo and just had fun there, but we're going to get back to it. We start next Monday and this time we're going to be all online because I don't have her books that we had back in the States when we were there, but everything can be done online, everything. Um, and we're just going to continue to do that and I make sure she, you know, she's on schedule. She's doing what she's got to do. But yeah, we're going to start that back up and I'll share that journey with you all on how it's going to work out while we're traveling. One of the things I don't like about having the drawers too low in the kitchen is that Hollis tries to get to all of the ceramics and the glasses and it just makes for a stressful situation. But I'm like, you know what? He's fine. He knows not to catch his hand, but it's just a hassle. <laughs> This is our table slash workplace. I'm gonna clean this up so we can have a place to actually eat. <laughs> Just like home. <laughs> Nobody noticed. <laughs> All right. I put a little bit more water into this. You did. <laughs> so this is life with Hollis here. He wants to sit on my lap. This is part my fault because I've always kept him on my lap when I fed him. But I have a booster seat sling that I'm going to start using. And I promise I'm going to start using it. <laughs> so you I can eat my on my own. You spoiled him. <laughs> can't spoil a baby. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm just going to sip on my coffee until 12 o'clock. It's cold. My coffee's always cold. <laughs> Taking a break from our breakfast to watch my hubby's ASMR channel. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, he does such a great job. <laughs> All right, we're done breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then we're gonna take a little walk through the neighborhood and go to get maybe some treats from the store and my breakfast because I haven't eaten yet and I'm gonna wait because I'm intermittent fasting, so. So while I'm doing the dishes, I'm reflecting on something here. And since I've been in Japan, I've, you know, I've been here for almost two months. I am looking at how the moms here do things and <laughs> I can tell the house, I, I think I support my kids so much just like being here. He, I'm like, man, these parents got it down. The kids are very polite. They don't scream. They don't yell. They're very, very, very quiet here. As you can hear in the background. 
um, Mr. Hall is, is not like that. So, like, just going out, like, the kids are so polite here and so well-mannered. And they are just super, I don't know, it's just very different. It makes me want to learn from them and what they're doing. Um, because I do like the way their kids behave here. You may get a kid once in a while that screams and yells. Because they're kids, kids are kids. They're going to do that, right? And they're going to whine and, and, and cry and, you know, get things their way. Um, but most, for most part, you know, they are just pretty chill. And I, I kind of want to learn a little bit about that on how they raise their kids. Y'all, kids are so well loved here, like by everyone. People love families. And we noticed that when we first got off the plane to come here, we got pushed to the front of the line uh, because we had a family. And I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. You know, I just thought it was just something they did at the airport. So everywhere we go, like people are very helpful. Um, people people just love families here and I know that they have an issue with people having kids here so that could be the reason why especially when we run into elderly people they're all you know always smiling at the kids or saying hi or you know giving Hollis a pat on the leg because Hollis looks like a three-year-old but he's really one <laughs> so he gets a lot of looks <laughs> that's right <laughs> so kids so they are like can you go up the stairs baby come here Hollis is not used to stairs as we lived in apartments most of his life, but now he has stairs and he wants to climb them. So I'm gonna give him a bowl to help. Here you go, Bubba. All right, so we got things settled here. We're about to go for a walk. That's another thing we've been doing since we've been in Japan. We have been going on walks during the day. It has been a little warm in Osaka. It's getting better and it's less dry. So we, we go on walks in the morning and we typically try to go on walks in the evenings. Um, and of course, we walk everywhere because we go on the train when we go to our destinations here. So we don't really have to get into a car unless we are going to like take our luggage somewhere or it's just too hot or something like that. But mostly we just get on the train. It's been super, super cheap and super, super convenient. So yeah, we're gonna go walk to the store, get out, show some sights. So we gotta put our shoes on because we don't wear shoes in the house. We do it, what is this thing called? It's the foyer, but it's called something else in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Japanese. <laughs> First, make sure there are no, there are no spiders in the shoes. Centipedes. Centipedes. Spiders, my beast. <laughs> We had a big centipede in the house one day when it downpoured and I was picking up clothes off the floor and one big old centipede came running out and no, we had, look up the Japanese centipede. It was freaky. <laughs> Yes, we're, we're back. We were gone for one week, then we came back. Oh, hi, turtle. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was our neighbor. <laughs> I couldn't understand what she was saying, but I'm guessing she was saying, oh, you guys are back. We were here for a month and then left to go to Tokyo to visit. That was very sweet. I think that was my first time talking to her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was very sweet. <laughs> So we love walking these little neighborhoods. They're so nice. Like the little streets here, they all have really nice houses with their, you know, people love their bikes here, bikes everywhere. Hey, you're not supposed to be drinking while you're walking. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's a thing here, you can't eat while you're walking. If you buy something from one of the convenience stores, you go sit in front of the store you hear that bell? Yeah, that bell like always bike. reminds me, thinks that it makes me think someone's behind me. And I'm like, I never see anyone. And I'm like, is that a ghost bike? If someone has like a little bell in their yard. So every time it rings, it thinks I think someone's coming. So yeah, but so you can't, you can't eat when you're uh, walking, but you can eat in front of the convenience store. Um, and then like, there's no trash cans around here, y'all. Like no trash cans at all. So when people eat, they usually just take their trash with you. And look how clean it is. I mean, this is just a lot here. There is literally no trash. A lot of so we're gonna head to the store, get us some some things, and we're gonna get back to the house. Are we going somewhere today? Okay. They, to like the, yeah, we might go to the mall today. This is easy. Jump on the train and go. And then Dave has an interview tonight, so because we're 12 hours, 13 hours ahead of where he's gonna be interviewing. <laughs> We have to be back at least by like 9 p.m., which is cool. The kids will get tired by then. 
People hanging up their clothes to dry. It's not as high as it was. No, it's not high as high. We can tolerate this. We're not like sweating bullets. Like as soon as you We're step out, first make sure no bikes are bikes to come at either. Oh, that's right. Okay, come on, baby. Um, yeah, we haven't even started sweating. As soon as you step out the house before, when it was dead heat of the summer, we would sweat bullets. But now we're, it's okay, we can manage. It's not as humid. Yeah. Right, we're heading into Family Mart to get us some waters, some more coffee. Yeah, I think I might go over there. No, I think I'm good. I don't think I need anything from our local grocery store today because, yeah. yep, I went yesterday and I got plenty of things that we needed. Uh, they do and they worry cheaper yeah yeah might as well get them they're kind of expensive there i guess they're in season huh <laughs> found some blueberries they make it easy to get it out it's okay he wouldn't have used it anywhere all right okay. so that's our favorite discount store we love shopping there stuff is really cheap it's funny we're just starting to learn that things are go they go in and out of season here so like our watermelon used to be 1.99 yen which is about under two dollars now it's 5.80 yen so i don't get even though we can afford it I, I i mentally know that it was cheaper so i can't purchase it so uh, we're gonna go into a family mart, get us a few things here, and then we'll be on our way back to our home. They have lollipops. What's that? Oh yeah, cause I, cause I eat his chips. I like these. Huh? Can you give me these? I don't want that one. I just wanted something salty, and these are good enough. Lightly salted. This coffee run. Coffee run. If you ever decide you want to bring your family to Japan, I highly, highly recommend coming to Osaka. It's very kid friendly. People are very sweet and nice. Everyone speaks. Mostly everyone. You know, people people here usually do keep to themselves, but they, they do speak, especially when you smile. Smiling is universal. So I highly recommend coming here. Tokyo's cool, but Osaka is, I, I think it's very nice for families. All right, we're on to our next stop. So we're going to go to Lawson's because they didn't have this drink that we wanted to try. And we are also gonna go get some chicken nuggets and stuff for lunch. So this is what you usually do. The chicken nuggets are so cheap here. And they're, uh, that is a cute house. They have so many cute houses here. Um, so we're, the chicken nuggets, are, how much are they, baby? Like under $2 USD? Yeah, yeah. So they freshly make these chicken nuggets at Lawson's. Um, they have some, they have like spicy, they have regular, they have uh, chicken with tartar sauce, which I thought was fish because I love it so much, but it turns out it's chicken with tartar sauce, which is great. Um, so we're gonna go get that for lunch. And that's what we typically do for lunch or we'll do McDonald's. And I know y'all probably like, oh my God, McDonald's in Japan, but McDonald's in Japan is amazing. Um, we don't eat it all the time, Dave and I, the kids love it, but uh, we try to do different things for them. So yeah, we're going to go to Lawson's now, grab some chicken nuggets, and see if they have our little drink that we're looking for, and then we're going to head back to the house. Baka just reminds me of old, old Japan. <laughs> Hi! Your sister. Oh, I want to try that. Yeah. Always finding something new to try here. These were my favorite um, ramen things. Until they made me sick, so I can't eat them anymore. Oh, they're a dollar? Yeah, they're like a dollar here. Um, I think I'm okay. I'm going to come back one day and try this sandwich. Um... Yeah, some nuggets for him. Thank you. Can you give me chicken with tar sauce? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to try the one. Arigatagazamis. All right, let's go. All right, so we are headed back to our rental right now. Um, this That's what we do almost every day. We just go to these stores. We don't ever do a big shopping haul, like a big shopping trip, because there is always a always a reason to go to the store here 
and we don't have that big of a refrigerator. So we just go out, get what we want. And we, I mean, we spend so much like less money. Those, all those bottles we got, like all this stuff in here, everything I would say is under about 230 bucks, but like for everything, but like, like the stuff is like under 200, maybe under 300 yen. We may get some things that's a little bit above and 300 yen is about uh, $2. Yeah, so like the the sodas that we got that we love, they were one something. That's like a dollar for a bottle, um, and they're really good. They're not sweet. They're not too sweet. So I don't mind Ava drinking it once in a while. Um, and like I said, y'all, I've been losing weight since I've been here, and it's just because I've, you know, I've been eating less. But also, they don't put a lot of stuff in their food. They don't have a lot of processed foods here. They have access to healthier foods here, which we do too. But our stuff is more expensive. Their stuff is super cheap. Um, and I don't know if I said this before in another video that I am pre-diabetic, um, but since being here, I don't have those symptoms that I was having in the U.S. So, so yeah, it's, it's just been interesting. So we're headed back to our rental and we're gonna finish out our day. Oh, we saw inside it, it looked nice. And these neighborhoods are so small and so compact, but you still gotta look out for bikes because they, they fly through. Look at this cute little neighborhood right here. It's so pretty. But yeah, watch out Eva. These bikes fly through and they try and get to where they're going. So I always have to look out where we're going. But we made it home. Stuff that we have. Our lattes. I got the coffee. Eva got coffee. I got me a egg and teriyaki sandwich. Oh we got this coffee. Oh yeah, we gotta try this too. Yeah, we love these lattes here. What you need? You wanna come up? Come on. Oh yeah. We got chocolate. And then we have our got chocolate. Some more chips that they found. Nacho something. And then these are the drinks that we love that cost about a dollar. These are so good. It kind of tastes like Sprite but less sugar. So they're very refreshing. And then we have our Lawson nuggets. We have regular regular Lawson nuggets. We have <laughs> Regular, oh wait, this is spicy. This is spicy. And then another regular. And then this is the, the chicken with tartar sauce. It's very weird. I thought it was fish with tartar sauce, but it's so good. I love this stuff. The more, most expensive thing on our trip today were these grapes. <laughs> these grapes were the most expensive, sorry. So these grapes are like five, 580, 580 yen. So we do get these because they don't have blueberries, although we just found three, frozen blueberries. About three something. Yeah, $3 and something, it's not bad. But like I said, thing, just because things are cheap here don't mean we have to go crazy. <laughs> we are saving or on savings right now. So we're trying to stretch our savings out. Okay, so I'm about to eat my first meal of the day. Now I said I was gonna do any bread. I wasn't gonna do any bread, but I had to try this teriyaki and egg sandwich. It looks so good. So I'm gonna try this. This will be my first meal. And then um, I have some brown rice. So what I'm usually gonna do is just do like some chicken, brown rice, and maybe an avocado. But for now, I have to try this because their egg sandwiches here, y'all, their eggs taste so different here. They taste full of flavor here, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'll save these for a, little, for a little later for a snack. So these will be my, my fish nugget, well, chicken with tartar sauce nuggets. Um, these are super good too. So I'm gonna try these. I just wanna try this, but I've never tried it before. Teriyaki and egg. Teriyaki chicken and egg. It's very, very interesting. This is how it looks. It's kind of small compared to what they give me in the egg sandwich at the other store. Mm. So they're egg sandwiches, they call them egg sandals, I think. And they taste like their eggs, the, what they put in the sandwich actually tastes like deviled eggs. It's very interesting. <laughs> So it's just like I'm eating a devil egg on bread. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a winner. This is good. Wish it was a little bit thicker. So I may get it from another place. That's saw one in Lawson's that had a thicker chicken, cut of chicken and egg. So I'll do that one. But this is pretty good. You know what it says? For her snack. You know what, you know what it says? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So she's putting signs on her stuff. <laughs> mm. She put signs on her stuff because mommy opened her soda and drank it. And then I turned around, bless you. Then I turned around and opened daddy's uh, <laughs> chips and his chips. They were done with me yesterday. 
So we found out that these little things here are actually called Japanese peaches and we thought they were apples. So we got some because we want to try them. See how they taste. Yes, buddy. Let's see. Oh, look how pink that is. That's so good. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Look how pink that is. That was delicious. Mmm. Yeah. Let me try Ava. Yeah. You like hard peaches though. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Actually, I do. This is how I look on the inside. It's very, very pink. It's very juicy. It's very pink, juicy, and good. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said thing. I am tired of hearing that. That's what she said thing. <laughs> I like the taste, but I just don't like the squishiness. Maybe Hollis wants some. Maybe yeah. that's why he was screaming. Wanna try it? <laughs> you like it? He said, Mom, I just wanted to try it. That's good, actually. Mm. I found that there was another peach in there. I was like, let me just try to see how it tastes. And it's totally different. It's not pink at all it it's it tastes very different it has more of a sweetness to it it has almost like a stereotypical peach flavor yeah stereotypical <laughs> peach flavor that's right like when they make those peach drinks uh, like and it tastes peach. artificially like made, made. That's, 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 that's exactly made. what that tastes like so it's probably not artificially made well some of them they are but uh you like this one better and it's a, it's a little bit harder not as messy it's the other one. Now that we had some good food and some yummy fruits and everything, we're gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna put the baby down for a nap so that we can go out later because it's not a fun day if the baby doesn't take a nap. So we'll do that and then we'll see you guys later to head out to the mall. Well, that was a bust. <laughs> he never went to sleep. Ava ended up coming up, taking over. They're in the bed playing a game. So I'm gonna wash some clothes. So it's very interesting. The washing machine is outside of the house. So it's not inside, it's outside on the front. So I'm just gonna take the clothes, throw them in there, let them wash, and then we don't have a dryer. So we hang all of our clothes up here, which is also relaxing as in washing the dishes. <laughs> Channel centipedes are in here. <laughs> Right here. And that's how we wash our clothes. <laughs> All right, so I got the baby to bed and I am going to go on ahead and hang up some clothes. So they're all washed, they're all smelling good. This is how we dry our clothes. We hang them up here or we take them outside. And there's a little place where you can hang them out here, which I might do so they can dry quicker. Um, and then the ones that don't dry in time, then we'll bring them back in and we'll let them dry here with a fan. These are my favorite pair of black pants to wear since I've been living here. We have been wearing, I have been wearing black. Dave's always worn black, but um, that seems to be the, the trend of what people wear here. <laughs> and I like it because I don't have to have too many outfits because we didn't bring many, so it works out. Another thing we realized too about hanging up our clothes is they don't shrink. They, they kind of get stretched out of shape a little bit, but they don't shrink and they stay with a nice longer. Nice heat. Come on. 
Oh, God. I'm gonna keep them away from the wall so we don't have spiders, bugs climbing in our clothes. <laughs> that's how we dry our clothes. So I'm gonna finish up that and wait for the little man to wake up and then we can head out. All right, child, the baby is up. But after much consideration, <laughs> we decided to stay in the house today because Dave has that interview later tonight. Um, it is for a remote job, so we're just like on that. But we're gonna stay in and get some rest because we are gonna go out tomorrow and do something fun. And we're gonna go get some food from a store that we love here. It's called Life. It's like the Whole Foods <laughs> of the grocery stores here. It's a little bit more expensive than the other stores, but it's so good. Their food is so good. So we're gonna do that for dinner and we're going to just chill for the rest of the night. So daddy is back and he got us some nice yummy things for dinner. And pretty inexpensive. Here we have sushi with crab meat. It's not real sushi. <laughs> then we have katsu sandwiches, my egg sandwiches. I'm gonna eat those in the morning because they're delicious. He got like this bread thing here. Tiramisu, y'all. This tiramisu is the best tiramisu I've ever had in my life. It is amazing. It's like restaurant quality. But yeah, and then he's got like a chicken katsu sandwich and um, what else did you get? Chicken wings. And some chicken wings. And then we just got a bunch of other random stuff. But yeah, like just looking at the sushi. The sushi, it was they give you 20% off. So they, they make it in the morning. And then if they don't sell it by like maybe after three or four, they make it 20% off. So it was originally $2.98 and it was went down to $2.38. So put it into perspective, 300 yen is about $2.50, about $2. So that's less than $2. And then my katsu sandwich is four ninety eight, so that's about maybe a little, maybe four dollars. And then yeah, the egg sandwich about three seventy eight, so that's about a little over, you know, maybe three fifty. And then the, how much is the tiramisu? Oh, you know. Oh, I don't know. It's it's not expensive. It's really cheap too. Three hundred. So again, maybe like two, three dollars. It's amazing. His day's food here. And this is all food that they make. Highest price thing is this barbecue. <laughs> barbecue sauce is the highest price thing. That's because it says oh, USDA, so it's probably no, imported. <laughs> Man, US getting us again. They getting us again. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty inexpensive. You can go and get ready-made stuff that they cook the day the same day for way cheap and it doesn't break the pocket. So that's what we do when we're not cooking. I don't really cook that much here, y'all, for real, because you can just go out and buy something and be just as much as cooking. So so yeah, that is our evening. We're done for the night. Thank you all for joining me on my little stay at home mom in Japan tour of my life. It's been great. It's been so like the stress y'all has been so much better. Like I haven't had that much stress being here. I don't think I felt like this in a very long time. So it's yeah, I know. <laughs> so as I told y'all before, we can only stay for three months. So so yeah, the only stress we do have is that we do have to leave because you can only stay here for three months. But we're going to go travel around somewhere else if Dave doesn't find a job by then. We have money for months to last us. So um, we're doing pretty good. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. <laughs>